in the wake of the Haiti earthquake, um, big preachers are saying that God has visited um, Port-au-Prince with judgment and so you had this earthquake. So the question really is, can earthquakes be caused other than the sliding of the plates, the seismic and the tectonic plates and all that, or can God cause earthquakes? Well, to answer this question, we go to the Bible and we will see that in several occasions that God indicated that earthquakes can be caused by him. Now, in the book of uh, Isaiah 296, he says that you'll visit them with earthquakes, thunder, thunder and earthquakes. And then in Matthew 27, 54, when Jesus was resurrected from the grave, an angel came from heaven and hit down and caused an earthquake. And then again, um, he says that uh, they're in Matthew 28 to about the angel again. So the question is, how can earthquakes be caused other than by a seismic sort of phenomenon, the, t the plates sliding and so forth? According to Matthew there, when Christ was to be resurrected, God in heaven dispatched an angel and he came to earth so fast that when he touched down on earth, it caused a, 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 an earthquake. So that if angels touching down or doing whatever they do could cause an earthquake, well, um, can the earthquake in, in Haiti be attributed to uh, supernatural beings? And the answer would be yes. You see, you have the good angels, which we have them demonstrating that they could cause earthquakes. Now, the angels, it's Satan who controls voodoo and his evil angels. We, we hear many folklore about angels can be locked up in a box and throw away the key and all this stuff. But man was created a little lower than angels, so that... A man being about 17 feet tall and proportionate could lift up an elephant, etc. But yet, he was lower than an angel. So angels are at least bigger than uh, 19 feet in height. And uh, they're supernatural, so they have strength. Look at the walls of Jericho. When um, the Jews were to breach the city of Jericho, it, was, it had these walls around it. And so God ordered them to march around the walls for seven days and seven times and so forth and then once when it was the final time the blew the trumpet and the walls fell down well I don't think necessarily it is their marching around and blowing the trumpets that caused the walls to fall down it is just that they were obedient to his command and at the time that they were to do what he said angels were the ones that dismantled that wall throwing those rocks down they do it so fast it looks as if they're just falling naturally so that can we say then that if uh, a fault lies between two mountains can they push on opposite sides uh, north and south north on one and south on the other and cause an opening and then let it go and then it, it cause that vibrations or whatever I don't know but it seems as if supernaturally earthquakes could be caused by supernatural beings and since God has reserved judgment for the final time when he comes the second time Sometime after then there's going to be judgment. He's going to give judgment. So all the other times except in the Bible where we saw him destroying Jericho or Egypt, whatever. I think all the other things are not necessarily judgment. Why then would Satan want to destroy Haiti, which is his little haven? I think in the near future here, there are going to be natural phenomena. Um, people are going to be doing phenomenal preaching, etc., and the majority of people in the world will have a chance of hearing the truth and, and being able to make a decision whether they're going to follow God and truth or they're going to stay in Satanism and voodoo. So that Satan is going to take out a whole bunch of people before this time happens. As long as they're following him, he's going to create situations, uh, tsunamis, earthquakes, hurricanes, floods, fires. He's going to, I mean, look at Job. You see, he created fires, he created floods, he created uh, a band of thieves. He created, he could create all kind of lightning, all that he could create. So he's going to be taking out a whole bunch of people. So the question is then, if supernatural beings could cause earthquakes, well, what to do? 
I, I think that we better align ourselves with the Almighty God, the true God, so that even if we might die in some phenomenon that He might create, Satan might create, we still have a chance of being resurrected by the Almighty when He comes, uh, because we were on His side. So yes, it seems that from the Bible and from these scriptures that I've quoted here, it seems as if not angels could create earthquakes. Um, and evil angels that were sort of dominating uh, Haiti could also con um, create earthquakes. And so uh, I say that yes, they created the earthquake to kill a whole bunch of folks and create some misery. But aside of this, you know, I notice that there's an abundance response to Haiti and everybody's in love with Haiti and trying to help Haiti. But if this is what the Bible talks about the end time, they're going to have so many, maybe this year or s shortly, that folks can get tired of the, the good and, and, and wonderful work they're doing. So I'm just going to do wish Haiti, Haiti well. I'm going to do what I can. But I'm not going to get burned out because it seems as if things now starting. And uh, um, I hope that uh, I, I don't get knocked off with one of them. I, I live to, to the time when he comes the second time so I could see him. But yes, I think... Um, angels could cause earthquakes and I think that it's Satan who caused the earthquake in Haiti to kill a whole bunch of people while they're under his domination in voodoo.